Hi there and welcome to Bottega Zero Waste. My name is Marta and today I want to talk to you about my minimal skincare routine. One of the best things since I've started living with zero waste has been to declutter my whole bathroom and really simplify my life and my skincare routine. In this video I want to show you how simple and inexpensive it is to switch to a minimal skincare routine and also the amazing benefits that this can bring to your skin. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first product I have incorporated into my routine is oil using the oil cleansing method. The oil cleansing method works based on the idea that oil is able to dissolve oil, which means we're replacing our sebum with new and pure natural oil, cleansing our skin without disrupting its balance. My current favorite oil is cold press unrefined hemp seed oil, although I like to vary every once in a while. I simply put 3 to 4 drops of oil into the palms of my hands and then I start massaging my face. I then use a couple of more drops of oil to remove my eye makeup with the help of a wet cotton roundel. I massage my eyes, keeping them well closed, and remove the makeup using the wet cotton roundel. I then rinse off any leftover oil with a hot towel. I also like to use some oil on my hair ends. It truly really makes the hair shiny and nourish without wetting it down. I normally do this before going to bed or before taking a shower. It's so important to brush your hair well after this, but I guess it is for another video. Let me know if you would be interested in a hair care routine. I also love using clay to remove makeup and impurities. I do this left often though, probably once a month. Okay, so basically I get some clay into a little bowl and then I add a few drops of oil. I'm currently using the Sea Backthorn oil by a brand called Casa Mencarelli. Um, the owner Lucia actually taught me this hack and that I'm about to show you. After having added the oil, I add a splash of plant-based milk. The oil, milk and clay combination is honestly amazing. It will leave your skin super soft, clean and moisturized. I apply it with my hands, leave it on for just a couple of minutes and then I remove it with a slightly scrubby towel before washing my face as normal. After I've cleansed my skin, I often add a little bit of aloe vera cream, which I hand make myself. It's honestly one of the easiest DIY on the planet. The ratio is two tablespoons of aloe vera gel to one teaspoon of oil. I mix the two until they are completely blended and literally you're done. If you want, you can also add a couple of drops of essential oil. This cream is actually highly customizable into a night cream or even a makeup remover. I will leave you the link to the recipe tutorial. To finish off my skincare routine, I use a mix of coconut and shea butter. To prepare this, I simply melt one tablespoon of shea butter with one teaspoon of coconut oil. Once melted, I add a couple of drops of essential oil and I normally choose lavender or geranium or a mix of the two. But you can really use any essential oil you like. I normally make three to four little tints at the same time so that I can place them strategically in my purse, next to my bed or on my work desk. Once I finish them, I just do another small batch reusing the same containers. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.